Hi everyone, I'm Matt Cash with SoundersFC.com here at Quest Field, where on Sunday the Sounders hosted the Colorado Rapids. Last season the Sounders lost several games to suspension. Now this week they'll be without Leo Gonzalez, but it'll be the first time all year they've lost a player to a yellow card suspension. They're a much more disciplined team than they were in 2009. By far, I think we had like 15 red cards at this stage last year. It was crazy. I mean, every week someone was getting sent off. But no, I think it's something we talked about last year. It was killing us, you know, because guys kept missing games. So um, I think this might be, we've had probably two or three suspensions this year, which is good because you can keep the team together. And um, obviously we're going to miss him. But um, I think as we've shown over the last few weeks, you know, we've got a very deep squad and anyone who comes in can fill in. So we'll be okay with it. It was something that we addressed in the off season. We said we didn't want to have those situations occur. So I think we've been we've been certainly better that way. I think yellow card suspensions. We've only really had Tyrone. I think Tyrone missed right, or is he still sitting on four? Yeah, so he's still sitting on four. So Leo, I think, is our our first one, and then Montano with the red card. Um, you know, so from that standpoint, yeah, it's definitely been improved, and uh, it it helps us because it keeps the guys on the field. James Riley missed two games last season and a third in the 2010 season opener because of red card suspensions. The Sounders right back says that rechanneling that emotion has been key in the 2010 season. We've kind of taken that, uh, you know, into consideration when, when starting our second campaign and we just kind of wanted to, to express, you know, our passion and um, enthusiasm in different ways. So obviously we were unfortunate to take the red card with Montano, but a, long, a young player uh, probably wasn't really familiar with last year and how many cards and we accumulated and stuff like that. So um, I think, yeah, we definitely we are. Um, I think we try to, you know, avoid the cards as much as we can. It wasn't anything that we went to meditation for or anything like that, but it was definitely a, a, a point of emphasis, you know, in preseason in our talks of saying, hey, we want to avoid, you know, want to avoid red cards. I mean, for sure, you know, I think James had two last year, James Riley, and it was something we talked about at the end of the season meeting. You know, this is something that, that you've got to take care of because it doesn't help you or us for you basically to be a non-factor for our team for four games. Leo Gonzalez picked up his fifth yellow card of the year last Sunday in a 1-0 win over D.C. United, marking the first time the club has missed someone to yellow card accumulation this season. The Sounders have developed a measure of momentum over the past several matches, and key to that has been consistency in the lineup, a consistency that has been in part aided by the fact that players haven't been missing games to suspensions this season. It's always good. Obviously, consistency is always good to, to play with the same guys day in and day out and compete and battle with them day in and day out. Um, you develop that chemistry, so that's always you know definitely very, very important. And you know for this next game, we're going to try and incorporate Blaze into that chemistry and see how that works. Um, he's looked good in training. Obviously, he has to continue to learn the team, and the team has to continue to learn his strengths and weaknesses, and uh, we'll go from there. It is possible that Blaise Kufo will make his first MLS appearance on Sunday. Jeff Park has trained against him on a daily basis since Kufo's arrival last week and has said he is quite the load for the opposing defenses. Yeah, he's good, man. He's, uh, you can tell the experience, just uh, the way he, he uses his body off the ball. Uh, that's what I've noticed the most. It's, uh, you know, he's so calm, but he's so smart when he puts himself in between you and the ball and it's as a defender it's real tough to to defend against a guy like that because it's uh, either you get the ball or you foul him. so it's most of the time you foul Kufo is a very unique type of player in MLS and Park uses an equally unique word to describe his style of play and physical attributes and he holds it up he holds it up but he's also very uh very bladey, we like to say, his elbows and knees, and he flares and he hits you with everything, man. It's like I came to the first practice, I had ice on my back, on my hamstring, my knee was like was sore just from marking it for one day. So, yeah, it's better to be uh, on his side. Kickoff is at 7:30 from right here at Quest Field. Sounders versus Colorado Rapids. We'll have the preview for that game tomorrow right here on SoundersFC.com. We'll see you at the stadium. I'm Matt Gash. the Sounders take on El Salvador's Metapan in the Champions League July 28 on the Xbox pitch at Quest Field. Log on to soundersfc.com Champions League where Seattle takes on the world.